Okay, here we go. Game one. Winner's semis. Yes versus Allen Dis. One of the best Ikes right now versus a very, very, very good snake player. Let's see. Yep. Near into dash attack. That was a very scary situation for Yes to be in when he used the double jump off stage <laughs> versus Snake. Gotta say, huge, huge start for Alan Dis, man. Yes is already so close to dying <laughs> without even doing much of anything. Down throw? Nice. So that's good because when you down throw them off stage like that, they, uh, they're they already forced into the air. Since, you know, you're down throwing them when they're not even on the stage. So you can, uh, a lot of times you can like up tilt or forward tilt them before they can do much of anything. That was actually really smart from, from Alan. Back throw? Oh, you got the, wow. Down throw back air after getting the grenade. That was actually so good. Oh, yeah, and Alan is playing very fast too. <laughs> I still feel like Yes is trying to get into the swing of things, but so far it's just been been on this pace of the game, working very well. Oh, oh what a follow up! Yes, not paying attention to the grenades, dude. Trying to brute yeah. force his way into the uh, into Snake, and Alan this is just taking all of this. All of this free percent, and it's like you said too. It's a pretty volatile matchup because like Snake is the neutral trapper, right? He wants to trap you in the neutral. That's literally his game plan, but also his ability to stop. I understand that you know what I can stop Ike's landings, which is what he's looking for to line up with what wow. neutral air, forward air, and even back air. And if I have something that punishes him for being around my zone, which is grenade, he has to respect that. Look at that, he even stops himself before he even commits to the full aerial because he knows if he goes for that full forward air, that soap will poke through the ledge, sorry, the platform, and then it'll hit the grenade, and then Ike will take damage for it. Oh, Alan just air dodge in a bad spot, messing up his like strange li little ledge play he was going for. But yeah, other than that, he he's playing phenomenally. No back air, double jump here to get around the platform. I'm sorry, get around the grenade and sneak. Looking for the landing, yeah, Alan Dis with a trap. If you like, look at what Alan Dis is doing, he like has a grenade next to him all the time. Yeah. So if Yez tries to jump in with an aerial, there's like a grenade right there to cover uh, exactly. that, that option. Oh, nice. A full hit of Nair, wow. Yeah. Alan Dis did was, game one. That was huge. Alan Dis just didn't really let yes play i'll be honest with you the only stock he got in that match was like alan air dodging badly into an f tilt um he didn't get any big combos actually at all yeah not a lot of big combos it's like i said it's just a grenade it's like you have to really respect grenades here and i think it's kind of like what ajax said He's really looking forward to seeing Yaz's uh, adjustments here because that's what he's going to need to do is adjust to the grenade game plan and then punish accordingly. There's a few times that we see Yaz go for like an empty hop opportunity, but at the same time, he knows like, hold on, I have to not go for a full up air just because I know that if I my up air go through platforms, I will hit that shield and the grenade at the same time. Ajax is totally right. This match is super hard for Ike to interact in just because he really has to bait the grenades with proper timing if he doesn't it's gonna be alan getting the best of it which we saw how things go down in game one it's rough especially because ike's not very fast on the ground like his dash speed so in normally in situations like this where you can't rely on aerials to deal with grenade you need to be able to grab snake while he's like trying to pull grenades and then go for like grab combos more but since ike's so slow and alan just is playing so far away it's not easy for him to get tomahawks yeah. Or even dash grabs or things like that. So he really has to pay attention to when he can uh, get these aerials to work. Yeah. And stage is going to play a big factor too. Yeah. Uh, if Alan just is smart, he's banning every small stage. So he like so I can like really have to be forced to approach. If he does get a small stage, though, that would be good for him. I think Smash Bros is probably his best bet. Yeah.
We'll see where these two take it here in game two. Uh, I think Raven King definitely has a really good understanding of it. Uh, definitely a matchup he has is improving on, but we'll see how what he can improve. Learning what he did oh. from game one as Alan starts off with Yaz on Final Destination. No platforms here. Okay, FD. Let's see how this works out. That's a really good start. I, I know he's still losing, but I'm glad that Yaz was finally able to get a Nair combo <laughs> to work <laughs> That's the real without trading. Right that, was like the, that was one of the first times. Oh, nice down throw set up at the ledge. Yeah, and good for Yaz yeah. to not go for a roll get up. Oh my there. goodness. Just watch himself. What a catch, okay. too. He sees that back air and he raises him a quick Aether. Nair to back air. Yes, indeed. And he's looking for the landing here on Snake. He's got to play this right. Great. I love he that Nikita setup. That's so smart. Yeah, good for Yes to respect it, too. Rolls out of the shield here. Nair, like oh. I mentioned it, the landing, it's really tough. Ajax definitely mentioned it's oh, hard for Ike to interact. And there's the quick, great pummel to the forward tilt. Yeah, he doesn't need to get him to 160 for the up tilt. If he's like at around 145, like down throw for it, so just as good. Nice. Now this one, yes. Looking for the landing on nice. Alan Dis. That was there. smart. He just retreated straight to the ledge. Didn't pull a grenade, didn't air dodge. Very I smart. like that. Oh, look at, how, look at how he backed off. He went for Nair 1, backs away his spaces, and then he catches Alan Dish on the attempt to get away from the ledge. Really great adaptation from Yes. Understanding how Alan was going to play at the ledge. Oh, he caught that double jump with that back air. Man, Alan Dish's punches are very damaging right now. Nice. Angles the shield right back. Doesn't want to get poked through dash attack here. Oh, it's a down throw up there. Yep. Great confirm yeah, That's here. what he needs. He desperately needs those grab combos. Good for him to go for okay. Ether too, because he saw the Alan jump, but he's also able to armor through the explosion. But Alan with the stage control grenade. Unfortunately, oh, the roll was hard not... call out. Yeah, yeah, that was just like this is a common snake trap. You just down throw them when there's a grenade like in front of them or behind them. They, they're going to try to get away from the grenade most of the time. So he just called it that rollout like very easily. Oh, Oof. yes, it's struggling. Man, he went for us. <laughs> Up B. <laughs> oh, yeah, Alan, Alan's feeling himself hard. Oh, he's feeling himself indeed. Destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Uh, I, I think that was true. Based off of the the di on the grenade that was that was disgusting yeah raven king i think said it really well i think something that we've been talking about a little bit here strides is you got to respect the grenade on shield it's really tough because if you're i think even a lot of sword characters can even struggle on that because if your sword actually pokes through the shield and also hits grenade it's really rough because you're basically it's the wrong time to try to hit shield you have to basically kind of space yourself a little bit or preemptively just wait and just see how Green is going to move. I'm sorry, how Snake is going to move afterwards. If you see earlier how we saw that Yez went for Nair, double jumped it, moved away, and then punished Yez after Green, that was a better way to get around it, I think. And Yez barely found that punish one time. Hopefully, can find it more here in what is probably the last game between these two and winner sides. Hmm. Yeah, Raven King understands um, grenade positioning too. If if you're a good snake player though, you will like uh, mix up holding grenade in front or behind, depending on how the Ike plays. Uh, holding like chasing with grenade behind is also really good. Yo, the Yes Wolf though, I know he does play Wolf, but I I rarely see him play this character ever. This is definitely a great character to use against Snake for sure. But, uh, we'll see, man. Dang, I haven't seen Yez play Wolf in a, such a long time. I, I, I wonder how much he practices his character. But this just goes to show that he's very desperate to win this. When, when he's actually pulling out, you know, another character just to beat Alan. Oh, my God. So far, looking really rough. <laughs> looking really rough for Yez. Really he's rough still running there. into the same issues as Ike. Like he's trading into the grenades. His jumps are getting called out. And he's stuck with the C4? Yeah. After the back yeah. throw. That was actually a guaranteed C4 when he did his side B into the stage. Because if you land in the stage with 
will flash like that. Tons of lag. Uh, Alan is looking, mm. looking too damn good right now. Getting oh. a four smash kill to catch the air dodge. Yes, I don't like to see him go out like this, but damn, it's looking very free. Yeah, I think I think at this point I have to give it a Raven King what he said. I don't think it's much of an Ike problem. It's definitely a Yes problem. Oh, it's something he has to really learn because the way that just Alan is able to just run over Yes right now on this wolf. Causing a lot yeah. of problems. Good C4 here to stop Yes after Blaster. There's the down nice. stage control. The down oh, smash. Oh, for another up. one? Oh, the fear? The fear, man. It's the fear I don't even know. I don't even know if he was scared of that or if he just didn't know how to like recover properly. Like air no, dodge I, up. I think I think it's the fear, man. Because if you look at how things go, if he if he went for it, like there were two times that Allen had just consistently pulled up the down smash so well. That it was so rough that Yez had been called out for it. I think it's a little bit of that fear factor, man. I think, yeah. Raven King says it the best, man. R regardless, it sucks for Yez. Because it's definitely a matchup that I feel that Yez is struggling with. It's not so much a night problem. It's That's a part of it. But it's definitely something that Yez has to learn in the matchup.